What are the highlights of the 47 episodes of Devouring the Stars? Luo Feng became an inspector, and Jiangnan City prepares a grand banquet for him. The mayor of the city, the head of the martial arts hall, and business leaders will all attend the dinner. Luo Feng is going to bring Su Xian to attend. He wants to announce to the outside world that Su Xian is his only girlfriend. Su Xian attaches great importance to this party. She chose a lot of evening dresses. And she changes clothes one by one, ask Luo Feng's opinion. As a result, Luo Feng behaves like a piece of wood. Every time he just smiles and says, okay. Su Xian mutters, looks at Luo Feng angrily, and says. You can only have three answers, not good looking, average, very good looking. Hearing this, Luo Feng touches his head embarrassedly. Frankly speaking, Su Xian looks the best in that purple dress. Just as the two of them are talking, an email is suddenly transmitted. This is exactly the invitation letter to explore the relic number 9. Luo Feng just remembers that Hong helped him sign up for relic number 9 before. As long as he passes the test of this relic, he will be able to obtain a black god suit. Luo Feng opens the email while recalling. After a while, Luo Feng frowns, showing a solemn expression. This ancient ruin is far more dangerous than he imagined. Entering the god of war in the ruins, the casualty rate reached 72%. Moreover, there is a special field in the ruins, and the challenger cannot enter it wearing the black god suit. Luo Feng's serious face falls into contemplation. From his heart, he does not want to participate in this ruin's exploration. He already had a black god suit. Take such a big risk, and then enter the nine ruins to win a set of black god suits. For Luo Feng, these risks and benefits are asymmetric. Luo Feng's strangeness catches Su Xian's attention. Su Xian puts down the beautiful skirt in her hand. Softly asked about Luo Feng's condition. Luo Feng doesn't want Su Xian to worry too much, so he forces a smile says he still has work to do. Su Xinmei's eyes shows worry, and says. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, you've done enough. After she finishes speaking, she hang up the phone voluntarily. The whole bedroom is silent and terrible. Only Luo phone with a serious face, sitting and thinking. After thinking for a long time, Luo phone decides to go seek for Hong on September 29th to inquire about the situation. He wants to carefully confirm the information of relic number 9, then decide whether to accept the ruins expedition. A few days later, the Extreme Martial Arts Hall in Jiangnan City is very lively. Nearly 90% of the strong people in the whole city gather here. These celebrities all come to attend the banquet of Luo Feng's successor as inspector. The guests are discussing the protagonist of today's dinner, Luo Feng. Amidst the discussions of the guests, a beautiful figure appears in the hall. Su Xian comes. Slender figure, perfect body. Pair it with this noble purple evening dress. Make Su Xian's original innocent appearance more sexy. Like a fairy walking out of a picture scroll. Countless hot and admiring eyes look at Su Xian. A young man with long hair meets the beautiful Su Xian. The whole person seems to have lost his soul, sluggish in place. Slowly swallowing a mouthful of saliva, the long-haired youth walks towards Su Xian introduces himself with a smile. Miss Su Xian, hello, my name is Lei Yufeng. This Lei Yufeng's identity is not simple. His father is the owner of the Jiangnan City Thunder and Lightning Martial Arts Hall. It is a formidable rival to the Extreme Martial Arts Hall where Luo Feng is located. The world's number one powerhouse is Hong, he is the head of the Extreme Martial Arts Hall. The second most powerful person in the world is Thor, he is the head of the Thunder and Lightning Martial Arts Hall. Although the two have a good relationship. However, the members of the two martial arts halls have always been in a competitive relationship. The warriors of the Extreme Martial Arts Hall and Thunder and Lightning Martial Arts Hall. They all want to surpass each other and become the only strongest martial arts gym. Lei Yufeng came to Luo Feng's dinner party, also looking for an opportunity to suppress Luo Feng's arrogance. However, he did not know the relationship between Luo Feng and Su Xian. Lei Yufeng go after Su Xian, not because of Luo Feng, but because Su Xian is so beautiful. Just one glance, Lei Yufeng fell in love completely. After Lei Yufeng introduced himself, he wants to continue talking with Su Xian. At this moment, Luo Feng finally appears. The guests in the hall instantly come closer and talk to Luo Feng. Luo Feng glances at the hall. 
his eye stops on Su Xian. Seeing a long-haired young man approaching his girlfriend with a flattering smile on his face, he couldn't help frowning. He directly ignores the talks of the guests and goes straight to Su Xian. Luo Feng looks at the long-haired man and said lightly, Please get out of the way. Lei Yufeng is simply stared at by Luo Feng. He feels an overwhelming sense of oppression, which makes him a little breathless. Consciousness is blurry. When Luo Feng's eyes turns to Su Xian, his face changes to tenderness and doting. Su Xian smiles, her fair arm wraps around Luo Feng's arm, goes to the center of the hall with Luo Feng. This scene makes the celebrities present in an uproar. Luo Feng's actions obviously reveals his relationship with Su Xian. Some of the female guests shows disappointment at the same time. They thought Luo Feng was still single and wanted to win over Luo Feng by marrying him. Lei Yufeng's face is ashen, and his expression is ugly and terrifying. Snorts in disgust. 